We continue to track the central Florida freeze. The coldest temperatures we've seen in four years are heading our way this weekend. That's why Fox 35 is declaring Saturday and Sunday weather impact days. If you have any sensitive plants outside, you're going to need to protect them. Fox 35's Holly Bristow has some advice for us tonight. All right, so here's the deal. If you have tropical potted plants, the best thing you can do is just pick them up, either put them in your garage or just put them in your house overnight. That way you get them out of the freezing temperatures. If you've got larger plants, you're going to want to take one of these frost proof blankets, put it over the top of it outside. Make sure you get it all the way down to the ground. Make sure you cover the entire plant. Get it real tight around the bottom. Essentially what you're doing is creating a greenhouse, make sure that's secure so the wind can't blow it around, and that should be good to go. If you have a lot of flowering plants in your yard, you just might want to look up the how tolerant they are. Walking around Palmer's Garden and Goods, oh no. looks like we've all got our work cut out for us this weekend to protect our plants and trees from freezing temperatures. And Allison Palmer, owner of the nursery, pointing out tropical plants that are not cold tolerant. The monsteras that people are liking now, birds of paradise. Saturday, she and her staff will be busy moving plants and trees into their greenhouse and covering the others that aren't freeze resistant. That either are not frost tolerant or even if they are, to protect the blooms, we line them on this whole um, trellis here and we'll take large, large, large pieces of frost cloth and cover the whole trellis. She recommends using frost cloth sold at plant nurseries and garden centers. So the frost cloth is not heavy, and so that's like why we recommend this, and it can be left on for a couple days because it's breathable. If you can't find frost cloth, she says you can use a bed sheet without holes, and it has to be removed as soon as the temperatures go above freezing. Palmer shows us the trick to covering plants. So literally you just cover the plant with it and take anything that will pin it down to create a whole greenhouse effect. So you want to create, you want to pin it down to the ground so that cold air can't get in and it keeps the warm air trapped in there. Now the Palmers tell me if you're using a plant blanket like this, you can actually leave it on for a few days because it is breathable. However, if you don't use these, if you wind up using a bed sheet, put them on the night before and make sure that you take them off of your plants or tropical trees as soon as the weather goes above freezing. For now in Orlando, Holly Bristow, Fox 35 News.